So today's video, we will be discussing about polynomial. Polynomial is a term or single term or the sum of two or more terms containing variables with whole number exponent. Okay? So polynomial is simplified when it contains no grouping symbols and no like terms. Simplified polynomials that has exactly one term is called monomial. Binomial is a simplified polynomial that has two terms. Trinomial is a simplified polynomial with three terms. Simplified polynomials with four or more terms have no special names. Okay? The degree of a polynomial is the greatest degree of all the terms of the polynomial. Examples, 7x to the fifth minus 3x cubed plus 8 is a polynomial in x of degree 5. Because there are three terms, the polynomial is called a trinomial. Okay. One, two, three terms, a trinomial is that. And then next, 6y cubed plus 4y squared minus y plus 3 is a polynomial in y of degree 3. Okay. And third degree siya kasi 3 yung pinaka x exponent. Okay. And because there are four terms, the polynomial has no special name. Then 0 is to 7 plus 0 to 2 is a polynomial in the degree 7. And, okay. 7 degree polynomial. Because there are two terms, the polynomial is a binomial. Okay. Binomial is a dalawa, dalawang terms lang. Adding and subtracting polynomials. Ito na yung mga operations sa uh, polynomials. Okay. Adding and subtracting polynomials. Polynomials are added and subtracted by combining like terms. For example, we can combine the monomials 9x cubed and 13x cubed using addition as follows. Okay. Kung natatanda nyo yung previous topic na yung mga grouping symbols, yung ginawa natin ilang operations doon, actually... Uh, adding or subtracting na yung iba doon. Okay. So, yung example dito, negative 9x cubed plus 13x cubed. So, uh, pag-adding nyo lang, uh, coefficient nila na, na negative 9 o so 13. Okay. So, bali yun ay 4. Okay. Then, x cubed. Example, okay. so, adding or subtracting polynomials. Perform the indicated operations and simplify. Okay. So, combining like terms lang to actually. So, una yung 9x cubed. 9x cubed and 13x cubed. So, ito yun. Then, next, yung 7x squared. Okay. Kasama niya yung 2x squared. Ito yun. And, Next is negative 5x. So, ang kasama niya ito. Ito Then, yung last terms, yung 3, saka negative 6. Ito yan. Okay? So, similar lang dun sa previous topic. Halos. Okay? So, simplifying this, uh, this one. So, we have 4x cubed plus 9x squared. Ayan. So, na negative 13 ito. So, negative 3. Okay. So, ang final answer ay ito. Napaka-basic lang. Similar lang talaga dun sa previous topic. Okay. So, number 2. So, meron tayo ditong uh, apat na terms. Okay. Ang apat na terms. And, so, yung second line dito ng solution, actually galing sa book. Ginawa lang yung addition. Ito kasi subtraction. Ayan. Okay. Pero actually, kahit hindi nyo nagawin itong second line, pwede na dito. Okay. Subtraction siya. Kasi addition. Hindi na addition, ito subtraction. Pero kahit wala na to, okay. then combining like terms ulit, 7x cubed, ang kasama niya yung 2x cubed. Pero since may negative dito, okay. minus na siya. Okay. And next, Yung negative 8x square, so, meron siyang kasama na ito. So, since tawag yung negative 2 times negative, so, positive 6 square. So, then, plus 9x 
Yung x naman dito, ayan. So, positive 3x. Then, yung constant. So, negative 6. Saka, ano lang yun. So, yung negative 9 ito. Or, simply ito lang yun. Negative 9. So, ang final answer. Ito na yun. Okay? So, 5x cubed. Minus 2x squared. Plus 12x minus 15. Then, alternate solution for number 2. Orange like terms in columns and combined vertically. And so, pinakamadali ito. Okay. And given, 7x cubed minus 8x squared plus 9x minus 6. Okay. Then, yung minus kasi na to, yung isang to, may galing na dito. Pero actually, pwede rin yung 7x cubed minus 8 x squared plus 9x minus 6 minus pero lalagyan nyo ng parenthesis na ganyan so 3x cubed minus 6x squared uh, 3x 9 ok yung contract nyo ok yun yun lang so, ito kasi unang unang pagka ginamit nyo yung minus dito Ito maging negative, ito positive, ito negat, uh, positive, ito negative, o oh, similar lang dito. Okay. Ito yung sagot, mas may multiplying polynomials. So, the product of two monomials is obtained by using properties or laws of exponents. So, na-discuss na natin yung laws of exponents. Dito nyo na gagamitin yung ating first topic na discussion. So, ito, meron tayo negative 8x6 multiplied by 5x cubed. Okay? Ayan, parang yung first topic lang ito. Ito, monomials lang ang pinag-multiply ninyo. Ayan, nandiyan din yung 6 plus 3, yung exponent or power nila. Furthermore, we can use the distributive property to multiply a monomial and a polynomial that is not a monomial. For example, ito. Meron tayong trinomial. Tapos monomial dito. So, 3x to the fourth multiplied by dito. Okay, applying law of exponent. Meron tayong 3x to the fourth times 2x cubed. Okay. And then ito naman, distribute nyo dito. So, negative 3x to the fourth times 7x. Okay. Plus 3x to the fourth times 3. So, Okay, pag sinimplify ninyo, yung 3 times 2, yun ang 6, then 7, ito yun, 4 plus 3. Okay, and then ito, 3 times 7, so 21, then 4, then 1 dito, 5, then 9x to the 4th. Okay. Next, binomial naman, tsaka trinomial. Okay. Pag ganitong case, Either yung quantity na 2x plus 3 ang distribute nyo kada term dito or itong trinomial distribute nyo dun sa kada term ng binomial. Dito kasi ang nakadistribute ay yung trinomial. Same lang yung sagot nun. Dito meron tayo yung, yun nga, yung trinomial binultiply dito. So 2x, 2x multiplied by ito. Then, plus 3. 3 times ito ulit. So, distribute lang. So, multiply nyo lang dito. Ito, multiply dito sa buo. Okay? So, dalawa. So, 2x cube ito. So, 2 multiplied by yung ito. x lang to. Tapos ito, x square. So, pag sinagsama nyo sila, x cube. Then, next. 2x multiplied by 4x 8x square so pag plusin nyo lang yung exponent or power nila then last 10x okay. sunod so ito multiply nyo lang dito sa lahat ng to 8 square plus 12 plus 15 ito na yung tamang sagot okay. so Sinabi ko na dati na yung useful arrangement ng mga sagot ay from the highest degree 
yung doon sa lowest degree. Okay? So, another method of performing the multiplication is to use vertical format similar to that used multiplying whole numbers. Okay? Ito yung given, x square plus 4x plus 5. Ito yung second method na Ah, uh, ito. Second method. So, x square plus 4x plus 5. Ayan, multiplied by 2x. 3. So, multiplication ang operation natin dito. Multiplication. So, ang una yung i-multiply, syempre, ito. Ito. Ito yung 15. Okay? Then, x. Ito, tsaka ito. So, bali, 4x times 3, so 12. Then, ito at yun, 3x squared. Okay. Yan. Then, second line. Okay. Take note yun lang kung saan kayo magsusulat kung nasaan yung minultiply ninyo. Halimbawa, itong 2x, nandito siya. Itatapat nyo lang. Hindi ko kayo magsusulat ng product ng 2x times 5. Okay? So, 2x times 5 na yan. Then next, ito, 4, 8, ay 4x times 2x. So, ito yun, 8x squared. Then last, itong x squared multiplied by 2x, 2x cubed. Then add nyo sila. Okay? Yun, bring down yung 15. Then add nyo, so 22x. Then... Uh, 3x square plus 8x square, so 11x square, then plus 2x cube. Okay. Okay, so let us continue. So our next topic is the product of two binomials or the FOIL method na sinasabi natin. Okay, FOIL method is just another method of solving the product of binomials or polynomials. Okay. And one way to find the product of two binomials is to use the FOIL method in which F represents the product of the first terms in each binomial, O represents the product of the outside terms, I represents the product of the inside terms, and L represents the product of the last term or second terms in each binomial. For example, we can use FOIL method to find the product of two binomials 3x plus 2 and 4x plus 5 as follows. And example, meron tayo dito. Ito yung 3x plus 2 and 4x plus 5. Okay. First is f. Ito yun, f. First term. Ito. First term ay 3x saka 4x. Then, o, outside. Ito yun. So, 3x yan times 5. Then, ay 15 x then inside ito so 2 times 4x and 2 times 4x now 2 times 4x okay. 8x then yung last yung 2 and 5 so 10 yung product nila okay. so simplify ninyo meron ng 12x square then yung 23 so, yun, 15 plus 8, so 23 plus 10. Okay. Na yung sagot. And so, we have an example. Using the FOIL method, multiply the following. So, ang gagamitin method na ka-indicate, FOIL. So, first term, yun, yung 3x saka yung 5x. And, yun, 3x times 5x. And, yung outside, so, out. 3x times negative 3. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung sign. See? So, sign nya. Nalagay nyo rin. So, some common mistakes kasi, yung sign dito, hindi na nilalagay dito ng iba. Okay? Huwag nyo kakalimutan ilagay yung sign. Then, inside, ito, 4 and 5x. Okay, yun. Then, yung last term, 4 and negative 3. Again, nandiyan yung sign negative. We simplify nito. We have 15x squared minus 9x plus 20x minus 12. And, okay. Like terms are negative 9x and 20x. So, 
11x yung result nun. So, ang sagot ay ito. 15x is equal to 11x minus 12. Next example, number 2. We have quantity 3x minus 4 multiplied by 5x minus 3. Okay? Una, first, yung 3x tsaka 5x. So, 3x times 5x. So, yung first. Then, outside. Okay? So, 3x multiplied by negative 3. Inside, negative 4 times 5x. Then, your last term, negative 4 and negative 3. Okay? Yan, pag pinagtama yung first term, so yun, 15x squared. Then, ito, negative 9x. Then, ito, negative 4 times 5x, negative 20x. Then, yung last, so ito ay positive 12. So, positive 12 to. Okay, correct na lang. So, ito, 15x squared. Then, so ito ay negative 29x plus 12. And, so, number 3. So, quantity x plus 4y multiplied by quantity 3x minus 5y. Dito, meron tayong dalawang variables. Okay, same method. First term. So, x multiplied by 3x, then outside, x multiplied by negative 5y, then inside, 4y times 3x, then yung last, so last, so 4y times negative 5y, okay, simplify natin to, meron tayong 3x squared, minus, 5xy then ito 12xy then last this is negative 20y square okay. combining like terms so yun yun like terms na naman natin so ang dalawang nasa gitna equals to 3x square plus that is your 7xy minus 20 y square.